I want to talk about something called picapods. It's kind of a funny sounding name, but I think pica means like small or like a small animal or something. And well, these picapods are like little Docker containers that are set up for you. You don't have to worry about doing this in a home lab. You can do this on a publicly hosted server and, you know, do a, host a website for like a buck a month. You know, it, it, you really can. It's, it's really incredible. So what I want to talk about is how affordable this is and incredible it's been working for me. I've been hosting randyhanley.com on a picapod for like, I don't know, one or two bucks a month, <laughs> a ghost uh, blog, ghost CMS. And that's incredible because ghost, I've set it up on my home server for probably a couple of years or at least a year when I hosted randyhanley.com. And I had some trouble here and there, like where the the Docker container would crash and I had to tinker with it. Yeah, big deal, right? I mean, I'm not hosting the whitehouse.gov or some major website, but still, it, it was it was it was time and well, Picapods just run solid. I haven't had any issues. I haven't had to tinker with anything. I just put in a name and run it. And let's just have a look here what kind of apps they have available. It's not just you know, hosting a website, there's tons of self-hosted apps you could do. And you basically just add a balance of like, I don't know, you put like, they even start you with a free plan. I believe it's like five bucks. They let you mess around with it, which you, you can't go wrong because you could try it out for free. And if you don't like it, you just don't use it. But I tried it out and I loved it. And I started adding more funds to it. So I added like, as you can see here, I got like 12 bucks on my account. I don't keep it like super high because I don't I mean, it's like every few months I'll get an alert saying your balance is running low and you just go on there and add a few bucks and it just keeps running. So right now the only app I'm running is Ghost CMS, the Ghost blog, because it's a full platform, a full content management system. And it's it's like it could not be easier to set up. Now, again, I've set this up in Docker on my Synology NAS and I've ran all the traffic into my house, but you're running some risks there. You're, you're bringing traffic from the outside world into your home. And yes, you, there are workarounds where you can use uh, um, Cloudflare tunnels, something like that, but and that's safe. But still, you're, you're relying on your own infrastructure, something that's not a data warehouse that's used to hosting stuff for, you know, people do this for a living and I can pay them bare minimum two bucks here, two bucks there to do it. And they're going to host it better than I could. There's, there's no comparison. So anyways, let's look at some of these apps. You got things like finance management systems, archive box. This is something that lets you download the web kind of deal where you can archive a website in case you think it might go somewhere one day. It might get wiped out. You want to back it up, back that data up. You got audio bookshelf, you got base row, I mean, I can read, read through all these, but you got a VS Code server that you can host in the browser. It, this is a, obviously you could look through here, and I guarantee you can find something that you'll like. Uh, Fresh RSS is great. I used to use this as my main RSS uh, reader. I actually use um, Comma Feed now. Comma Feed is just uh, it's just so fast. It runs it runs faster than anything I've ever run before. Hedge Doc is kind of like a collaborative Markdown editor. Uh, it says collaborative markdown editor right in the description. Wow, I got that right. And it's uh it's really cool. It's but I don't know. I I don't find that I need to self-host that, but it's pretty cool just to mess around with. I tried it out. Um image, that's a little more resource intensive. You can see the prices that they go up as more or less the container requires more resources. An image, I would definitely say, requires a lot of resources. And that's not even considering the space you're going to require. You're going to require multiple databases that run in Docker, which is very efficient, but also the space to host the photos. So you're going to need to add space as you, an image is amazing. It's so cool and it's fun to play around with. Maybe you could, you know, try this as your $5 plan and just kind of mess around with it. Joplin, a little heavy for me on the note taking abilities. I feel like I have better solutions that I use personally, but they got it. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what else do we got? Mattermost is kind of like a Slack um, alternative, self-hosted. Microbin, it's a paste bin where you can just, you know, run it in your browser and paste stuff in there and I mean, you can just use it to uh, hold on to text there for a little bit. There's there's multiple paste bins. You got private bin right here. What else do we got? Wallabag. Wallabag is one that I host. Uh, I actually host this one on my virtual private server. 
and I love it. It lets you basically throw in the URL of a website that you're reading and it will just grab the content that matters. It will skip the ads. It will just grab the content and archive it for you in a readable format on your own server. And I find that is a quick way to just gut, gut out all of the clutter and read something, you know, read it later kind of deal. And it also lets you highlight in the browser, which is really cool. You can highlight the text and add notes to it. I don't believe you can do it on the mobile version, but it does have a mobile version where you can just send. So pretend you're on your phone and you're reading a website and you're like, man, I, I can't read all this right now, but I want to send it to my Wallabag server. You just, you know, hit the little share button, share it to Wallabag. Wallabag, your, your server will go out there, grab the web page and just grab the stuff that matters. And you can read it later on your phone or in the browser. Very, very cool. That's one I recommend hosting if you ever want to try it is Wallabag. Very, very powerful. So Wallabag and Ghost. This is the one I'm currently using for randyhanley.com. It's a free open source blogging platform designed to simplify the process of online publishing. And it does a great job. It's so powerful. I love it so much more than WordPress. I think the themes just look nicer. They're faster loading. It loads much quicker than WordPress. And it's got a good uh, subscription management service built into it if you want to use that. And Ghost has not done me wrong. I just, like my, my website is, I think my website looks amazing. And my subscription portion of it, I'm not really using. But let's try to pull that up, actually. Let me pull up um, randyhanley.com. And why am I having trouble with this? Let's see. Well, let's just do this. Um put the address in there we go wow that was fast and you could see how quick that loads yes it's probably cached but it does load quickly if you do it from like a fresh page like a cache cleared browser and my website i think looks so beautiful look at this come on and i have no design chops i am not a graphic artist i i, I suck at photoshop i confidently admit that i don't care because i can just buy a theme for like i don't know 60 bucks i probably paid for this theme but one time only, I own the theme now. I bought it from Theme Forest, and I slapped that on this um, this Ghost CMS blog, and I really didn't have to do much else other than design this little logo that was just like done with Adobe Spark. It was it was basically took me a minute, and I could change that anytime I want. I could change the logo here. I could just put text here that says RandyHanley.com. You know, I've done reviews on different things like P Cloud, which is my now my favorite cloud storage click on that loads instantly looks really nice and polished and this is all running off my PikaPod. and let's go look at this real quick let's go look at my account and you can see where I've tried different things I've tried Wallabag like I mentioned I put like a dollar into that and the amount of time and frustration it saves you by just paying somebody to do this is worth it it is and you can see the account limits I've set so when I wanted to load ghost I want it to load quickly, so I put two CPUs. You can pick how many CPUs you want. You can pick how much gigabytes of RAM you want and how much storage. I think the recommended minimum of, of a Ghost blog is like maybe one CPU and one gigabyte of RAM. But if you want it to load quick, I, I recommend bumping it up. And it's still costing me, like, like I said, like, I mean, if you look here, here we go. Five months ago, I put like 20 bucks on there and then... I think just recently, does it happen on here? Um, let's see, your pod usage, billing. Let's go to billing. I have 12 bucks on the account right now. But if we look back in January, 10 bucks. Yeah, I mean, just a few bucks a month. Come on. It's only, it's already, we're just, we're just about to hit April tomorrow. So that's pretty good. And again, I could lower the specs. I could take out a gig of RAM and if it just loads fast enough for me, I'm saving a lot of money and I'm not having thousands of visitors go to my site right now. It's just it's just there to have my website. I want to have my domain and this is a cheap way to do it and not have to worry about signing up for a shared hosting service that charges maybe some ridiculously amazing price for the first four years and then when you forget about it, you know, two, three years down the road, all of a sudden you're getting a $500 bill to run some website that shouldn't require any hosting horsepower at all. And you're kind of stuck. You feel like you have to like decide quickly on if you want to keep it or if you want to, you know, 
I got my address up on the screen. That's great. I'll have to blur that out. <laughs> but, but anyways, I think this is super worth it. I've been really happy with it. It's kind of pay as you go deal and you're not, you, you don't feel like you're trapped. So I hope this is helpful for anybody that might be interested in checking it out. If you have any questions and you want me to poke around in my account more and get some information for you, I'd be happy to do that. Thanks for watching.